uh, it'd be great if the cap and trade or cap and dividend bill, whatever cap comes through Congress, if we can get it, great. But we don't need that to say no to coal. There are two things that are happening already. Grassroots activism across the United States has essentially already created, although you don't hear about it in the mainstream media, there's a de facto moratorium on coal plants. We report this this week in The Nation magazine. Uh, you know, because of local officials allied with grassroots organizations and some of the, uh, the mining communities have basically put a stop to that on the ground. The second thing that uh, can stop coal is existing authority of the Environmental Protection Agency. It has the the uh, authority and indeed legally the obligation to, now that it's held that greenhouse gases are a threat to health, it has the obligation to push through very tough regulations. And one of the real dangers of this legislation that is in Congress right now is both the House version and apparently the Senate version, we don't know the details yet, are listening to the voices who say, let's, let's strip EPA of that authority. Yeah. And unfortunately, many environmental groups seem prepared to make that bargain. I think it'd be a very bad mistake.